Hey everybody, it's Dr. Ariel Ellis. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a first installment of a series of videos, particularly focused on leadership. Um, as you know, my work in consulting and as a coach really leads me to spend a lot of time with individuals and with groups inside of organizations. And so this is a great opportunity for me to work with you all individually for us to build community together. As we launch um, this new online invite only exclusive new community, everyone needs a champion. I wanna kind of walk you through some of the key points about why uh, leadership is so critical um, and particularly leadership within a community. You know, the reason why every leader, particularly every leader in today's day, every leader in today's day needs a champion um, is because we cannot win outside of community. Yes, we can win on our own and we can do these different things that really propel us successfully and really make us feel good about what we're doing and feel good about ourselves. But we've, I know many of you, as I have, have heard that that climb up the ladder is lonely. And many times outside of community, um, it gets difficult. Outside of community, you're not sure what direction to go. Sometimes you've had a significant amount of success and you've kind of stalled and you're not quite sure what direction is next in your career. Sometimes you've not had the success that you want to see and you're trying to identify where are the like-minded people that can propel me to get to that space. So that is why it is important to lead within community and have a community of champions with you. Now, the reason why the word champion is very important and why it stands out to me and why it is a key component of this new community that we've built is because when you think about the word champion, you often think of someone who is what a winner, right? They're a team player. They have vision. They work really hard, they set goals, they're a high performer, and they really accomplish everything that they set out to do. And it takes a lot of work for them to be that person. If we think about some of the most successful athletes and some of the most successful public figures that we uh, can, can even have access to now because of social media and the internet, we can go back and look at their stories. And oftentimes we think those individuals are just kind of doing their own thing, no. The reason why many of those individuals are super successful is because they have teams, they have people around them, their peers who they can share ideas with, they can brainstorm with, brainstorm with, they can dream with, right? They have a range of people around them from education to training to background, years of experience, sectors, et cetera, who together work alongside them to get really high results in their performance. So that is why it's important for us to think about who are the champions in your life? I want you to think about that. Who are the people who champion you? Who are the people who propel you? Who are the people who push you along? And when you actually answer those questions or even think about how to answer those questions, many times you realize you don't have enough people in your network or you don't have enough people close to you who have done what you are trying to achieve. If I look at my own career in life, I see that. I see I have a lot of people who I love and respect. I have my family and friends who just love me no matter what I achieve or no matter what I do. And they love and support me and respect me. But as I propel forward as I pursue excellence, as I think about the life and the lifestyle that I am building and the one that I want to continue to build and what that looks like, I realize I do not have enough people close enough to me who have modeled the success that I desire and perhaps people who have done, done things successfully in different ways who I can glean upon right? Who I can pull into my circle, who I can say, hey, how did you do that? What's your perspective? What did it take? How did this come about for you? Um, what are some success tactics that you've used? You know, in this new norm that we're in coming through and out of COVID, it's been really difficult to rebuild community. We've had to navigate community in a completely new way. Um, we've had to uh, shift how we go about doing relationships, how we work, everything has shifted. And so now we are in a space where we're figuring out how do we rebuild community? How do we establish a new norm? 
And then how do we make sure that the direction of our life is going in a healthy, but also a desired direction? So um, one of the reasons I wanted to share this with you or build a champions community um, is because there are different ways in which we can champion one another. And the title or the theme, the the uh, whole, uh, whole idea of the community, everyone needs a champion, is that many times again, we often think that everyone in our life is a champion. And that is not necessarily true. They may champion us in different ways. But in order for us to get to the highest level that we know we're destined to be at, we have to do some different things and we have to often do them in community. So a couple of things I want to share with you so you can have a real understanding. I looked at a study recently um, done by the World Economic Forum um, in partnership with various organizations. And they asked, you know, what does it take for a leader to be really successful post or coming out of COVID in this new norm. And one of the key things that they said is they need a series or a group of champions. Individuals need to be in community. They need to be in spaces with other thought leaders, with other change agents, with other uh, trendsetters, with other folks who have a variety of gifts and set, uh, skill sets and talents that can motivate them. Now, there were two or three things that I want to share with you that came out of this study. The first one was that there was it was identified that leaders understand the need to champion or to create a culture of championship, how to create a championship culture. So if we think about even athletes who are winning and have broken records, right? We think about the idea or the concept that they have actually walked along the process of determining what does it mean to to pull out or or to groom the players on the team for success to where we play well together but we also bring our individual talents to ultimately get to that championship level. So in building an online community or in coming into an online coaching community, that is something I want to champion, uh, no pun intended, but that is something that I want to champion. What does it look like for great leaders to gather together to know that they have to champion one another and we'll, we can build a culture for that? Another thing that was in the study was that uh, it was identified that great leaders understand that they have to get with other great leaders in order to think about ways to be disruptive and to create innovation, right? So if you're only kind of working with the same folks all the time or frequenting the same spaces and operating within the same networks, you often don't get a chance to think disruptively or to innovate in a sense. And so great leaders was found in the study that great leaders know how to tap in, right? They know how to tap in with other people in order to, and seek out innovation. They're seeking out ways to disrupt. They see a problem in society. They see an issue in the workplace. They see an obstacle in their industry. They have a longing to make impact and have influence in the space that they operate in, right? Uh, whether it's a hometown, whether it's an uh, industry that they work in, whether it's a, they have a, just a heart for people, um, whether they have a personal desire to improve their financial status or to improve uh, the way in which they, they do the work or and just improve their lifestyle, that takes disruption and innovation. And this study uh, showed that great leaders know how to seek out other people in order to produce disruption or to create disruption and ultimately innovate the spaces that they want to play in. And lastly, the study showed that great leaders understand that there is a debilitating influence of fear around getting to the next level. Of course, and what we've been through in getting into this new norm that we're in, we realize that we've all had our series of moments of fear, right? A series of fearful moments or uncertainty, quite a bit of uncertainty. And we've had to latch on to others. We've had to latch on to people and create unity in order to get through this season or these phases or these difficult moments, right? And so in this study, it was shown that great leaders 
acknowledge that there's a fear of getting to the next level. And there that fear often uh, can be debilitating because as I said earlier, sometimes you are on a lonely journey to being who you're called to be. And so in acknowledging that fear, it means that these leaders realize that they need to unite. They strive to unite with others who are similarly on a journey or have at least gone where they're going or accomplished what they're trying to accomplish. So these are just the key things that I want to share with you. One, great leaders understand what it means to have other champions in with, in, within their network, within their space, to create a lifestyle and a culture of winning. Number two, great leaders understand what it means to think about how to leverage their network to come up with new ideas, to innovate, to disrupt spaces where there may be challenges and improve that space and make it better. And lastly, great leaders understand that there is a fear. There is an uncertainty of getting to the highest level and often getting to that high level alone uh, without people who have been through the process or that can come along the journey with them. And as a result, they strive, they look out, they strive to unite, they seek unity, and they want to partner with and be in community with people who are on a path with them or people who have gone where they've gone. So I want to share these things with you. Um, it is important that you have a champion, that you have people who are looking out for you. They want you to win. They want to win with you. Even if they're winning differently than you in different spaces, they want you to win because they want to win. And when you win, they win as well. And they know that vice versa. So this is necessary. You can win alone, but why? Who wants to win alone, right? You need to be able to win within community. There is no champion who won within community, won outside of community. You can say, well, a basketball team, a football team, right? A work team, right? That's true. Most teams uh, that are going to win, they're winning within their team. But what about those individual players, right? Those entrepreneurs who don't have a team or those individual sports where it just takes that individual, right, to get the job done. No, 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 no. If we think about an individual sport, that individual had a coach or a series of coaches. They had a trainer. They had a doctor. They have a manager. They have an accountant. They have an attorney. They have family. They have friends. They did not get to their championship alone. They did not become a champion outside of community. So thinking about what it means and why it's necessary for leaders to have a community or to be in spaces where they need a champion, it's critical. I want you to think about that. Reach out to me. Feel free to connect with me. Circle back. You can email me at hello at arielellis.com. And you can also join our invite-only community. All you have to do is sign up. And we go through our processes of determining who gets the invitation. Uh, we have our little ways of identifying who gets vetted to join our online community. But in this online community, you'll get access to a monthly leadership webinar with leadership training. You get access to a monthly um mindset call, which happens every first Monday of the month to kick off your month with centering your mindset. Um, of course, as I said, you get the leadership webinar every month that is going to be on the third Monday or that's on the third Monday of every evening or every third Monday, the evening of every third Monday. Um, you get a series of of readings and resources. You also get access to this community of champions who you get to network with, brainstorm, have accountability sessions with, and we also offer an opportunity for you to uh, be able to access some VIP guests on a quarterly basis, as well as some quarterly personal self-assessments where you can assess yourself along the journey. And of course, you get direct access to me. Uh, you get an opportunity to schedule some one-on-one -on -one calls with me and, and coaching. Of course, those are discounted uh, for anyone who's in, the, in, the, in our community. Everyone needs a champion. You get a chance to be in the community and you get access to me as well. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff too. We're going to do a growth week, a five-day series of just content all throughout the week, uh, experiences, speakers, et cetera. So it's real, y'all. It's real. Being in community is very, very important. And if we never knew it, 
Until now, we do know it. We know that community is critical and it is important that you have champions, people who want to see you win and people who know how to win and can influence your wins. Very, very critical. And I'm grateful that you are going to join our community. I'm grateful that you are going to tap in with me. Again, go to my website, arielellis.com to learn more. And I look forward to connecting with you.